the American dream. A potent narrative that has shaped the aspirations of millions. We are told that anyone, regardless of their background, can achieve prosperity through hard work and determination. This idea is deeply ingrained in our culture, celebrated in countless stories and media portrayals. But is it a reality for everyone? Can everyone truly achieve this dream? The answer, unfortunately, is a resounding no. Many find themselves disillusioned. The distribution of wealth in America is far more skewed than many realize, with a significant portion of wealth concentrated in the hands of a few. We often hear about making it big and climbing the ladder of success, but for many, this ladder is out of reach. These phrases reinforce the misconception that wealth is accessible to all, ignoring the systemic barriers in place. This belief, however, masks a hidden reality, one where a small elite control a disproportionate share of the nation's wealth, leaving little for the rest. The gap between the haves and the have-nots is vast and continues to widen, creating a society where the American dream remains an illusion for many. Let's look at the numbers. They paint a clear and often unsettling picture of our current economic landscape. The top 1% of Americans hold more wealth than the bottom 90% combined. This statistic is staggering and highlights the vast disparity in wealth distribution. It reveals a fundamental imbalance in how wealth is accumulated and distributed in our society. This imbalance has far-reaching consequences for economic stability and social cohesion. The richest 0.1% own as much as the bottom 90%. This extreme concentration of wealth is not just a statistic. It's a reflection of systemic issues. This concentration of wealth at the very top is a cause for concern. It raises questions about fairness, opportunity, and the American dream itself. Meanwhile, the bottom 40% of Americans struggle to make ends meet. They face daily challenges that are often invisible to those at the top. They have minimal savings, are burdened by debt, and face constant financial insecurity. This financial strain affects their quality of life and future prospects. The idea that hard work alone can propel someone from this reality to the top is often a myth. Structural barriers and systemic inequalities play a significant role. The system is simply not designed to work that way for everyone. Addressing these disparities requires a comprehensive approach to reform and policy change. Who are the bottom 40%? They are our neighbors, our colleagues, and our fellow citizens. They are the working poor those holding down multiple jobs just to put food on the table. They are families struggling to afford health care, child care, and education. Their stories often go unheard. The challenges they face are immense. They lack access to the same opportunities and resources as their wealthier counterparts. Their voices are often absent from policy discussions, further perpetuating the cycle of inequality. We must acknowledge their struggles and work towards a more equitable society. The consequences of this wealth gap are far-reaching. It erodes social mobility, making it increasingly difficult for people to move up the economic ladder. It undermines our democracy as the wealthy gain disproportionate influence on the political process. It fuels social unrest as people grow increasingly frustrated with a system that seems rigged against them. Furthermore, it hinders economic growth. When a large segment of the population struggles to make ends meet, it stifles consumer spending and slows economic progress. Addressing this inequality is not just a moral imperative, it is an economic one as well. So how do we begin to bridge this chasm? It requires a multi-pronged approach, one that addresses the root causes of inequality. We need policies that promote living wages, affordable health care, accessible education, and affordable housing. These are not handouts, they are investments in our collective future. Progressive taxation, where the wealthy contribute a fairer share, can fund these initiatives. Investing in early childhood education can break the cycle of poverty. Strengthening worker protections can ensure fair wages and benefits. These are just a few examples of policy solutions that can make a tangible difference. The issue of wealth inequality is complex, but the solution is clear. We need collective action. This means coming together as a society to address the root causes of inequality and to implement sustainable solutions. We must demand better from our elected officials. They need to be held accountable for their actions and policies that perpetuate inequality. 
we must support organizations working to create a more equitable society. These groups are on the front lines, fighting for justice and equality every day. We must amplify the voices of those who have been marginalized and silenced. Their experiences and perspectives are crucial in shaping a fairer society. This is not about punishing success. It is about recognizing that success should be accessible to everyone, regardless of their background. It is about creating a system that works for everyone, not just the privileged few. A system where opportunities are available to all. It is about ensuring that the American dream is attainable for all, not just an illusion for the many. Everyone deserves a fair chance to succeed. Let us work together to build a more just and equitable future for all Americans. Through collaboration and collective effort, we can create lasting change. Comment your thoughts, like, share, follow us versus life. Keep fighting for your happiness each day.